Good evening, everyone. This is Dr. Stanley reviewing your 2051 Poly uh, American Government first session for the fall 2021. I am using my phone due to some technical difficulties on the computer microphone that I have, so just bear with me. But we're going to get through this thing and keep the ball rolling here for you guys. Uh, if you if you call the phone number on top of the syllabus, that is the department phone number. That will get you the secretary. If you need to ask questions, you can make an appointment with me as well through Skype or today we use Zoom. Also, we can talk over the phone. My email is listed there. Uh, be sure to read the section on emailing me properly so I can get back to you in a reasonable time frame. We'll talk a little bit about that if there's enough time. The course description is uh, the first thing and a lot of the topics I'm not going to go over verbatim I'm just going to uh, briefly touch on and you guys can read over those later we're going to be talking about the principles and structures of government in the US uh, to include the functions of government and theory and practice and uh, these will include the Constitution federalism elections law and public policy as well as civic responsibility which is the main goal of the course is to make everyone responsible citizens uh, the course is more than just some uh, a course that is on voting that is an important part of it but ultimately you want to take the information that you gain share it with family friends and the next generation in order to make a better society for the future goals and objectives are outlined here as well again want you guys to become well informed I want you to figure out how to uh, digest media in terms of number one is it true or false number two how does it apply to my worldview and number three how do I use this information to make a positive impact on the world around me or a positive social change we'll get more into that later the textbook is listed here I had a few questions on the textbook if you have an older edition, that's fine. I don't know if we'll be using information from a specific page number, but if we do, I'll try to include a scanned copy of that page and post it within the course itself so uh, none of you guys are left behind. I know there are a lot of issues with the textbook sometimes in the bookstore, and there are other things such as, you know, the cost of the books, which are really high, and... uh um, you know some other access things that are a problem but if you have a problem getting a book just let me know we'll work around it you can use the earlier edition if you have to I do recommend getting the newest edition as well uh, other housekeeping things same expectations are expected in this course uh, as any other course that you would take whether it be online brick and mortar within the actual physical classroom or distance learning which is going to be one of the the ways of the future I think uh, more on that later but I'll stick to the script here within the syllabus I'm just kinda of briefly going over this with you with you all so percentage of the course is 100 percent online there will not be any proctored exams you will have any kind of quiz or anything that you will take will be through Moodle and it will be a timed assessment so right now the uh, grading and evaluation methods m majority of your grade will come from the discussions you will have to submit an initial discussion and you will have to submit two responses to your colleagues to get full credit to get a chance of full credit for the, th that discussion they'll also have to be formatted and readable and more than a couple sentences long they have to be coherent okay and there are examples of proper discussions within this week's resources. So ask me any questions on that that you may have. Your applications assignments will make up about another 30%. Right now, I don't know if we're going to do a final paper. I'll make a decision on that by the end of next week based on what I'm seeing, the results of the course so far. We may just do a uh, uh, an assessment that includes two or three quizzes in place of your final paper grade or as you would take a final exam traditionally so 
Again, I'll make an announcement on that next week as far as for those of you in this first session course, what we're going to do there. Makeup work, again, please communicate with me problems that you have that may be personal, that may be uh, whatever the case is, inhibiting you from completing your work. So this course is not just about, uh, you know, Dr. Stanley has a bunch of rules. It is about uh, having guidelines and facilitating communication between us when there are issues. So that is part of you being a proactive adult and part of the Ecclesian experience as well. So you'll contact me before you contact anyone in the department. That is another big thing. Uh, you must attempt to contact me first before you go contacting the secretary or department chair because they have a lot of other things going on. So if I can't handle it in-house, we'll go take it up the ladder. Keep that in mind. And if you do not communicate with me, I will have to take penalty on your assess assignments. That's all within this paragraph that you see here as well. Your final grading scale, again, uh, this is for uh, intermittent use right now. We're going to say discussion is 500, applications assignment is 300 for sure. We'll decide the next week or so on the final paper if we do the paper or if we do a quiz uh, assessments and uh, using that as a final assessment. Attendance, remember that you have to log in. You no longer can just log in, but you also have to complete coursework for those who are receiving federal financial aid. All that is reported, so I have to tell them, uh, A, if you have logged in, and B, if you have actually completed any work within the course. So be sure that you have done those things and you are aware of those things. Drop dates are listed in the academic calendar. You guys should be aware of those, especially if you're in the first session. August 25th is the last day to drop without receiving a W, and September 20th is the last day to drop the class with a W, okay? If you decide to stop completing work in the course, and you're just going to leave it up to the hands of fate, remember that I will be averaging all of the grades uh, and all of the assignments that were put out throughout the entire course within that average, not just where, what your average was when you stopped. So please read more into that within the syllabus. Technology and learning resources, you guys, it, it will be very basic computer skills required for the course. I would recommend getting familiar with the word uh, processors such as Microsoft Word, be sure to use the autosave function because the computers sometimes they'll freeze, you'll lose work. So I like to set mine to say autosave my work every five minutes so I don't lose a lot of work. If you need direction on how to do that, I can put you in touch with who you need to talk to as well. Um, other housekeeping things, ID and security policy. Remember, you are only to log in as you yourself and complete work as you yourself anything else is ground for academic discipline keep in mind those things okay discussions these are the main things that facilitate interaction within the course every week we have discussion that are or or discussions plural in the first in the first session classes that are assigned each one of these are due Thursday, midnight of the week. You must respond to two of your colleagues by midnight the following Sunday. Okay, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday, you have to have responded to two of your colleagues. You must meet the minimum requirements that are posted in the course, such as the word count, APA style and formatting. Is it a coherent discussion, responses, etc.? You must contribute to the discussions by doing things, other, saying other things other than I agree, etc. Okay, so keep that in mind as we go along. Applications are a little bit different. Those are more uh, kind of like solo, on your own type uh, assignments. So there'll be many essay type papers, so two to three pages on uh, topics that we covered during the week. More information on those application assignments are in the syllabus. Remember, those are also due Sunday at midnight. Keep that in mind. 
Okay, final project. Oh, and for the application assignments, those are to be in APA formatting as well. If you are learning APA formatting, that is okay. But just be sure you're attempting to at least uh, do your assignments and discussions in that format, and you can at least receive the credit for that. You have to at least be giving credit to people who have done the work before you. If you are using someone else's thoughts, you will use, uh, cite the work that you use. If you do not, you will receive a zero on the assignment. So in other words, if you copy and paste a bunch of stuff off the internet and try to use it as your own, I will give you a zero. You will not be very happy with the outcome, but that is just the way it is, plain and simple. That is your warning for the semester. And if you fail enough assignments and discussions because of that, you will fail the course and you will also be uh, recommended for counsel with the department chair or further disciplinary action. So just do the work and make sure you are citing the work that you receive from others. That is uh, more information available in the additional course policies as well as the resources found within week one. Uh, emailing me, remember, please include your last name full last name, first letter of first name, and then the subject itself. In this case, it'll be Poly 2051. This helps me kind of get my mind going in the right direction on what course you're in and uh, prepares me to have a conversation with you about what, what's going on, expectations, where you are, etc. So just stick to that for me again. Uh, these are not just a bunch of rules to have rules. They're rules to help us facilitate discussion and get things done efficiently. All right, tentative course outline. You are in the accelerated course, which means you will be doing double the amount of work that you would normally be doing in a regular class, semester class, traditional 16-week course. That does not mean that you will be needing to put in half the effort. What I mean by that is I will be having the same expectations out of you as I will be having out of the 16-week people, the traditional course, okay? So you need to remember that. You need to think about that and know that there is a lot of work involved here in a very short amount of time. The tentative outline is, it, is as follows. Uh, weeks one through, t, 1 through 3, we'll be going over part 1 and 2. The titles there are listed for you. I'm not going to quote them verbatim. The titles of the chapter, uh, the last four weeks of class, we'll be going over part three and part four. Elements of American politics and the institutions of American government. So read over that. Study it. Learn it. Uh, learn to love it. Students with disabilities are encouraged to contact the appropriate office. Remember... Those resources are available for you. We will make accommodations. Some students have already done so, and Mr. Manuel has emailed me on their behalf. Okay? Um, again, questions and comments need to be directed toward me. Okay? If you're having difficulty in the class, if I cannot find the answer, I will direct you to someone who can. That's the main thing I want you to take away from our discussion here. Also, to be timely with your discussions and application assignments because you will have penalties for late discussions and applications. That's just the way it is. Okay? And also, uh, I'm big on the plagiarism thing, so you must cite sources. I have busted people many times in the past, and I will continue to do so because it is a matter of being honest and doing your best to learn something in this course and to take it forward like we were talking about earlier. So again, this is a brief overview of the syllabus here for fall 2021, Poly American Government, uh, course number 2051. This is the first session online. Questions and comments can be directed toward me. My email is sstanley at LSUA. Let's have a successful semester. Good luck, everyone.